time to take a little trip down memory lane. At this point, who hasn't played any Nintendo games? Super Mario Bros., Donkey Kong, and Zelda. Nintendo has it all, but what most people need to be made aware of is the series Nintendo produced a few decades ago. We're talking about a time when your favorite games leap from your console onto the television screen in a dazzling form of Saturday morning cartoons and wacky game shows. And that's exactly what we'll be talking about in this video. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. And cookie. Super Mario World 1991 Let's start with the goat. This Mario cartoon was like a reunion with the old gang from their last show, The Adventures of Super Mario Bros. 3, plus the added Yoshi and this cave boy named Ugtar. It was only 13 episodes, but it was all about Mario and his crew battling the bad guy, King Koopa, again. Unlike the last show, which flowed together in one big story, this one was more like a bunch of separate adventures. This is probably because it aired with this other cartoon called Captain N, but they kept things interesting with new power-ups and wacky characters like Ugtar. This show might have been a bit forgotten because of when it came out. It had a lot going for it, and people seem to be into it again lately. But new rules for kids' shows and the end of Saturday morning cartoons on NBC kind of kept it from being a huge hit, since it was basically part two of that other Mario cartoon everyone liked. It definitely grabbed the attention of kids who were into it back then, even with just 13 episodes. The stories were tighter this time around, making it a pretty cool entry in the whole Mario cartoon saga. You must be seeing things. <gasps> Pokemon, 1997. Pikachu, I choose you. Ash Ketchum, a 10-year-old from Pallet Town, has been a household name since 1997. He's the star of Pokemon, the long-running anime that practically invented the monster-collecting genre. Paired with his electric partner Pikachu, Ash journeys across the Kanto region. His goal? Catch and train new Pokemon, conquer the eight gym leaders, and ultimately become a Pokemon master. But the world of pocket monsters isn't all sunshine and Pokeballs. There are dangers lurking, namely the villainous Team Rocket, a band of Pokemon thieves. Luckily, Ash isn't alone. He's got some great friends by his side. Brock, a former gym leader with a heart of gold, and Misty, a cute trainer with a water Pokemon by her side. Pokemon's popularity speaks for itself. It's a titan in the anime industry, the only entry on this list with such a lasting legacy. While Ash is finally stepping aside for new trainers in the upcoming Pokemon Horizons, this eternally 10-year-old and his companions have amused generations with their action-packed adventures. The Legend of Zelda, 1989 Link and Zelda return for a brand new adventure in this 13-episode series, facing off against their ever-present threat of Ganon and his forces ravaging Hyrule. Their battles weren't always smooth, particularly due to Link's childish personality, but they tackled each challenge together as Ganon pursued the Triforce's power. While technically part of the Super Mario Bros. Super Show, The Legend of Zelda deserves recognition on its own. It might be a bit cheesy, but it offered a fun dynamic, especially with a strong female lead. Sure. Zelda needed rescuing sometimes, but for the most part, she fought alongside Link, even when he acted arrogantly. This is a nostalgic classic and a fun watch, but keep expectations in check. I brought you these. Ooh, I was gonna get you a cake, but I see you already got one. Donkey Kong? Donkey Kong Country, 1997. Donkey Kong, the beloved ape and protector of Congo Bongo Island, shoulders a heavy responsibility, guarded by the island spirit, Inka Dinka Do. The precious crystal coconut rests in his furry hands, and with it, the island's fate, alongside his trusty crew, Diddy Kong, Candy Kong, and the whole gang. DK throws down with King K. Rule, the villainous crocodile king obsessed with swiping the coconut and taking over. But being a hero isn't easy. DK wrestles with self-doubt, questioning if his banana-loving, carefree ways truly make him leader material. Thankfully, his friends are there to remind him he's the perfect ape for the job. Together, They'll face any foe to keep the Crystal Coconut out of K. Rule's clutches. Donkey Kong Country might not be known for its animation. Back in the day, think Beast Wars Transformers. The character movements were a bit stiff, to say the least. Despite that, the show garnered a loyal following. The action-packed adventures, quirky characters, and catchy tunes. Seriously, some of those songs are classics. Made it a memorable watch. While it might not compete with the Animation Hall of Fame, Donkey Kong Country's charm and heart make it worth a revisit. Super Mario Bros. 
The Adventures of Super Mario 3, 1990. Sticking to the animated format, The Adventures of Super Mario Bros. 3 built upon the original cartoon. It ditched the live action segments and weaved a more continuous storyline across episodes. This time, King Koopa wasn't flying solo. He enlisted his kids, the Koopalings, to take over the Mushroom Kingdom. Our heroes, Mario, Luigi, and Princess Peach, weren't about to let that happen. Armed with new powers, they faced off against the Koopalings, even venturing into the mysterious real world on occasion. Compared to its predecessors, Adventures of Super Mario Bros. 3 was a quality leap. While not a masterpiece by today's standards, it addressed the shortcomings of the earlier shows. The stronger story held everything together without sacrificing the humor. Though some fans missed actors Danny Wells and Luisa Albano, the show enjoys a nostalgic reputation. The animation wasn't flawless, with inconsistencies popping up, and the voice acting could sound a bit forced at times. However, this series marked a turning point for the Mario franchise's television adventures, paving the way for what's to come. Fire Emblem, 1996 Years before the games hit American shores, Fire Emblem got a two-episode OVA, essentially a pilot for a whole series that never materialized. These episodes skimmed a tiny part of the story from Fire Emblem, the mystery of the emblem. We follow a young knight named Marth on his quest to reclaim his homeland. A villainous priest, Garnif, staged a coup, forcing Marth to flee to the land of Talos. There, he served alongside Princess Kaeda, protected by his loyal bodyguard, Jagan. After helping stop a pirate attack, Marth feels empowered to return home and face Garnif with Kaeda and Jagan at his side. Fire Emblem's animated adventure sadly never got its full run. The games themselves became a beloved Nintendo franchise, known for their complex fantasy plots with political intrigue. The OVA had so much potential, the animation might be a bit stiff, but it captured the essence of wonder that the games would later revoke. While fans will always wonder what a full series could have been, these two episodes offer a tantalizing glimpse into Fire Emblem's potential as anime. Maybe someday, a proper adaptation will rise from the ashes. Hey, you got the wrong guy. I'm going home. Come on, dude. Captain N, The Game Master, 1989 Imagine living out your wildest video game dreams. Captain N, The Game Master offered that exact wish fulfillment for its young audience. Inspired by a Nintendo Power comic strip, it follows Kevin Keane, an LA teen who gets sucked right into his TV. There he lands in Video Land, a land populated by all his favorite video game heroes. But this isn't a vacation. The evil mother brain has taken over. Kevin and his dog Duke must now team up with iconic characters like Mega Man and Simon Belmont to stop her and save the video game world. While some character designs might raise eyebrows today, Captain N dared to be different from other Nintendo shows. It wasn't just silly slapstick or random stories. It had a continuous adventure inspired by cartoons like He-Man. Don't expect groundbreaking animation or an epic masterpiece, but Captain N is a show that unites a bunch of beloved characters in a gloriously geeky adventure. Basically, professional fan fiction comes to life. The Super Mario Brothers Super Show, 1989. The first to jump into the cartoon scene from the warp pipe was the Super Mario Brothers Super Show, kicking off a trilogy of classic Mario shows. The series took some creative leaps, blending live action segments with animated adventures. We got to see Mario Brothers in a whole new light. The live action parts, starring actors Lou Albano and Danny Wells as Mario and Luigi, were like a wacky sitcom following their plumbing business. But after a tumble down a drain, of course, they found themselves animated and saved the Mushroom Kingdom from King Koopa. While many hold the animated adventures dear, filled with silly escapades of Mario, Luigi, and their crew, the live action bits were less loved. The over the top humor, with actors like Albano really hamming it up, wasn't always a hit with fans of all ages. Sure, the show was a product of its time, with some pretty goofy acting, but hey, it wasn't all bad. The Super Mario Bros. Super Show paved the way for even better Nintendo cartoons in the future. Super it's Saturday Super Supercade. Saturday Supercade, 1983. The Saturday Supercade was a cartoon smorgasbord of classic Nintendo characters, airing for two seasons in the early 80s. Each episode was a whirlwind of four short adventures based on popular games like Donkey Kong, Frogger, Cubert, Pitfall, and Space Ace. We saw Mario and Pauline chasing a runaway circus gorilla, Donkey Kong, obviously, Frogger, the intrepid reporter on the hunt for wacky stories, Space Ace, defending the galaxy from bad guys, and a teenage Cubert and his crew 
battling the schoolyard bullies. Unfortunately, Saturday Super Kate has vanished into thin air due to rebroadcasting issues. Finding copies to watch or stream is a near impossible feat, which is a real shame because the show was a laugh riot. This bright idea from a burgeoning Nintendo was pure comedy gold. They took the stories from their popular arcade and console games and turned them into an anthology series that felt like something straight out of Hanna-Barbera. No surprise, since the production company was founded by the creators of Scooby-Doo. The influence is evident in the show's wacky style. Welcome back to the Super Mario Challenge. Yes, we are back once again with that action pack game. The Super Mario Challenge, 1991. The Super Mario Challenge was a short-lived but fun game show for UK audiences, 1990-1991. It aired on the Children's Channel, while the US enjoyed the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. Hosted by Mario himself, played by John Linehan, the show featured two lucky contestants each night. They battled it out in various Super Mario games, like the original Super Mario Brothers or Super Mario Bros. 3. The competition was fierce. Players vied for the most coins collected or the fastest completion time. Each episode of the Super Mario Challenge featured two contestants, often children, who would compete in a series of challenges based on popular Super Mario games. The challenges were typically centered around collecting the most coins or completing levels in the fastest time possible. This format not only tested the player's gaming skills, but also their ability to perform under the pressure of a ticking clock and a live audience. John Linehan brought a special charm to the show, donning the iconic Mario outfit and persona. Although the show ran for a brief period, it left a lasting impression on those who watched it. The Super Mario Challenge also highlighted the universal appeal of the Super Mario franchise. It proved that video games could become a shared experience that could bring people together in a competitive yet friendly environment. For those interested in revisiting the excitement of the Super Mario Challenge, there are online episodes that capture the show's essence. Watching these episodes can provide a glimpse into a time when video games were just beginning to emerge as a mainstream form of entertainment. The show may have been short-lived, but its combination of gaming and competition was a brand new concept that paved the way for the future of interactive entertainment. The Super Mario Challenge remains a cherished memory for those who experienced it, and a fascinating piece of gaming history for those who discover it today. King Koopa's Cool Cartoons, 1989 King Koopa's Cool Cartoons was a strange spin-off of the Super Mario Bros. Super Show. It starred the villain himself, hosting a live-action kids' show with a studio audience. Koopa presented classic cartoons unrelated to Mario while lounging in his castle, reading fan mail, and playing with his pet rat, Ratso. The show ended with Koopa, still in costume, menacing the children to behave. Why Nintendo greenlit King Koopa's cool cartoons is a head-scratcher. They cast a guy in a scary monster suit to portray a notorious video game villain, then expected young viewers wouldn't be terrified? Unsurprisingly, it got cancelled after one season, especially since the cartoons had nothing to do with Mario games. While objectively bad, the show offers a bizarre glimpse into Nintendo's history. It's a hilarious watch for those interested in seeing a crazy relic from the past, even though it's not fully preserved. Marvelous Verdict From the iconic Super Mario Bros. Super Show to lesser-known gems like Captain N, the Game Master, and the Super Mario Challenge, we've given you a glimpse into these shows and the nostalgia that comes with them. While some shows were more successful than others, they all captured the spirit of a bygone era of gaming and Saturday morning cartoons. Do you have any more such cartoons or shows in mind? Let us know in the comments. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone.